Guys, we're gonna be making some birria and pretty much every ninja foodie item I have coming up. This is Cooking with CJ, the show about cooking, drinking, barbecue, and all the other stuff that goes along with it. I am not a chef, I am not a bartender, I am not a pit master, but I play all three on TV. I'm gonna show you how to make quick, easy, tasty recipes and have a little bit of fun along the way. So let's get this party started. What's up everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ. So glad you're here for me today. Guys, this is going to be an amazing dish. We're making beer, beera, beardy, 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 Hold on real quick. Ernie, buddy, I need your help. How do you pronounce this dish? Birria. 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 All right, thanks, buddy. I know I can count on you. My guy Ernie knows what's up. He knows how to pronounce it. Birria, we're gonna do it in the Ninja Foodie uh, pressure cooker, but we're also gonna use the Ninja Foodie hot and cold blender. We're gonna use the Ninja Foodie uh, uh, never stick pans. Guys, we got, we're all Ninja Foodie all day here. All right, so we're gonna make a little uh, quesadilla tacos with them when we're done. We got that consomme that we're gonna dip in there. Guys, this is an amazing dish. Being here in Southern California, we get plenty of places that make this. I go out, have these at these Mexican restaurants, and I figure, you know what, I can make this at home. I'm a good cook, I know what's up. So this is what we're gonna do today, all right? So, traditional birria uses uh, goat meat, not a fan, so we're gonna use some uh, chuck roast, and we're gonna use some short ribs in this bad boy, and it's gonna be amazing. So, I already have some vegetables roasting up in the oven right now. If I thought about it, I would've used my Ninja Foodie oven. We could just totally done all Ninja Foodie, but I didn't. So, we got uh, some garlic, onions, tomatoes. Those are getting roasted up, 400 degree oven, probably about a half hour, gives us enough time to get going with the meat, browning it off, and working with the chilies, all right? So let's get over to the Ninja Foodie Station. Let's get started. We are on the Ninja Foodie Station. We're gonna turn on our foodie grill, and we're going to sear saute. We're gonna do the high, hit start. We're gonna sear these bad boys up first, and then we're gonna start uh, working with the, the sauce and the pepper mixture. So we're gonna add just a little neutral oil on these, and we're just gonna use some kosher salt. You can be liberal with it. These are big pieces of meat. Make a mess. Cooking's a mess, it's all good. Okay, get the salt rubbed in. Got our short ribs, got our chuck roast. It's gonna be amazing, guys. Amazing. The flavors that come out of this dish blow your mind. Let's get these, these pieces of meat seared off. We're gonna do it in batches. You don't wanna overcrowd it. You're gonna build some good flavor on these bad boys. All right, while we're searing that meat, let's get our chilies ready. We got Wajillo and we got Ancho chilies. I have about five of each right here. What we're going to do is take them and de-seed them and pull off that stem. If there's seeds in there, it ain't going to hurt anybody, but you don't really need it. All right, so clear those out. All right, we're still browning up that meat, but we got our uh, chilies de-seeded, de-seeded, and de-stemmed. We're gonna put it in some beef bone broth. We're gonna let it, this has already been boiling. We're gonna let it steep in there, rehydrate a little bit. And then we'll use this as our uh, liquid to blend these up. The first batch is done. We're looking for some uh, good color like that on there. We're gonna get all these out onto a clean plate, finish those up, and then we'll start building this thing. Okay, all our veggies are roasted. We're gonna get them in the blender. Squeeze out that garlic. <laughs> that good roasted garlic. Okay, now let's get these peppers in there. They're rehydrated, trying not to make a mess. We're gonna use the juice in there, the stock that reconstituted the peppers. All right, we're gonna get this lid on. All right, we're gonna crack this open, this little opening right here. There's a lot of steam gonna build up in there and we're actually gonna cover it with a towel. All right, All right lock it in, power, we're just gonna do high. All right, we let it blend up for about 30 seconds, nice and smooth. 
Now we're gonna get it into the foodie. We're gonna get our chili mix in there. Nice and thick. Boy, thick. And we got some homemade beef bone stock. You can use whatever you wanna use. All right, now we're gonna start adding a few things to it. Got about a teaspoon of black pepper. Gonna do a few dashes of cumin in there. Probably a good teaspoon. Give or take. All right, we're just gonna do a couple dashes of cinnamon. It'll overpower it, so don't do too much. We got some Mexican dried oregano, about a teaspoon of that. Some crushed chipotle pepper, just a little smoky heat in there. I'm gonna do a couple healthy pinches of salt, kosher salt. Last thing, we're gonna add a bay leaf in there. All right, we're gonna get that lid on, do the pressure cook. Ready to go. All right, let's get this thing cooking, huh? So it's a lot of steps to get there, but we're there. All right, we're sealing it on the top. We are going to pressure cook on high, and we're gonna go an hour and 30 minutes. Okay, hit start. When we finish the hour and 30, we're gonna do a slow release on it, and then we'll start making our Maria quesadillas. All right, guys, we're uh, done. The hour and a half's up. We're gonna do a natural release on this. Just let it take its time. You know, it ain't gonna hurt anything. And that's it. So we'll come back in a little bit and then we'll start uh, working on these quesadilla taco things. Natural release. We're gonna fish out all that meat so we can shred it up. And then we got our lovely consomme in there. Make sure you find all the bones from the short ribs. Oh, the smells coming off in here are insane. Look, it's just falling apart. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. All them good juices, that good consomme. And you're just gonna start shredding. Oh, dude. Oh, that looks money. I gotta try it, I gotta try it. Oh yeah, that's money in the bank. Mm -mm -mm. Oh man, that is too good. Too good. Oh, too, too good. All right, I'm gonna continue shredding. Get these all ready for the queso tacos. Oh, so good. Make sure you're shredding it with that fat in there too. Cause you know, fat is flavor. All right, we're good to go. Also, we need to grab some of this consomme out of here. Dip it cup. We'll use this to dip all that goodness in there. Oh, look at that. All right, come on back, we'll be on the stove. All right, guys, we're over here on the stove. We got our Ninja Foodie Never Stick pan there. We're gonna get some of these, we'll get some of these queso tacos together. First thing we're gonna do is dip these corn tortillas in the consomme and we'll start grilling them off. We got some Oaxaca cheese. This is the traditional cheese to use. All right, all right, we're dipping the tortilla. We'll get it in there. Next one, we're gonna do two at a time. Like good flavors. Add some of that Oaxaca. You know, I like them cheesy, so you can do it how you want. Those are looking good. I'm gonna get some of this with this bitty over here. For good measure, I'm gonna add a little bit of the consomme in there. All right, we're gonna get these folded up on each other. It's okay if it rips a little bit. We're gonna get them crispy and crunchy. All right, so it's take two on these. Mrs. CJ was the sacrificial lamb to try them. They blew out like crazy, so I changed it up a little bit, put a little less of uh, the consomme in there, and now they're holding together pretty well. We're gonna toast them up real nice, and we'll uh, do the taste test. All right, guys, we are done. We're ready to dip and slurp and eat and the whole bit. It's hot. Got our consomme right here. Oh, look at that. You get to focus on that. All right, we're dipping, dunking, Stop it. You know that's good. <clears throat> Man, that is amazing. Guys, you need to try it. It's just that simple. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's just gonna take you a little bit of time, but I know you're gonna wanna try it. I know you're gonna want it. Love it, be it, own it. It's money in the bank. Real quick, man, I wanna shout out to my guy Ernie for helping me out, <laughs> pronouncing Birdia. Hey, dude. You know, sometimes, hey, you don't pronounce things right. It just is what it is. But you know what tastes right, tastes good, amazing. Guys, if you wanna get yourself one of these ninjas, any of the ninja stuff I used on this one, links down below, click that link. All right, if you wanna become one of, part of CJ's crew for real, click that join button, join up, all right?
anything in my videos you want to get from the cutting boards to the knives all that good stuff links are down below that's it for this one thank y'all for stopping by thanks for cooking with cj take care